we are in London and one in London why don't we just stop by the Noble Collection store because a lot of the things from the Noble Collection here in the UK we can't really get in the US and vice versa so I'm gonna treat myself and get some exclusive merchandise right here in the Noble Collection UK they also have an actual shop in the US we don't have an actual shop we just have the online version but here we could actually walk through and see everything that the Noble Collection offers not only of Harry Potter but the Lord of the Rings you have Batman in there DC all of that so without further ado let's go do some shopping you're a wizard Not only do they have the Noble Collection stuff, but Noble Collection has partnered up with Bendy Figs. If you guys remember my video on Bendy Figs, they are partnered with them. And you're able to get these really cool, torable, bendable figurines. They have a whole wall built on just Fantastic Beasts alone. Oh, look how look at Creature. <laughs> His Creature. We got some Mandrakes. You got Picket. Or Bow Truckles. We don't know exactly if they're Pickets. Oh my god, baby Nifflers! This is one of the items that is exclusive to just this store and this store alone. It's a Mad Eye Moody Staff replica. And check it out in all its glory. You have it designed and decorated around Mad Eye Moody. Here we have the whole Nimbus 2000 and 2001. Never really cared for brooms, but for all you broom lovers, here it is. They're actually moving, guys. Check this out if you guys ever wanted a wand this is exactly the same place that makes them this is this is a company that makes the wands from orlando florida from universal from harry potter new york and all of those look at this this is a fantastic beast section and fun fact newt scamander's wand actually has bite marks from him biting it all the damn time <laughs> oh i really like this one Here you have the wand displays, Dumbledore's army, going for 128 pounds. Now I don't know the definition, uh, I don't know the difference between this price and the price in the States. I can't really tell you much about that, but I'm just going to go ahead and describe them to you. And just tell them, tell you guys what, what I can read from these little signs here. And here are the Harry Potter replica ones in the Ollivander boxes. Here's my favorite one my my all-time favorite wand the snape wand here are all the wands from the harry potter series it comes with not only a different type a different style of wand box but it also comes with a little nameplate as well look at these wand displays for four for these this display it goes for 46 pounds whereas the 10 one displays goes goes for 90. the only reason i'm showing you this marauders map is because it's 30 pounds and look how long this thing is i had no idea it was this long it is really long guys look at this these pendants or blood packed ones are starting to be really popular thanks to the new movie I'm thinking if I should buy one. Look at this cute little Niffler all around, shiny things. Oh my god, I really want a Niffler. But like a real one. 
Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll save some money out there. <laughs> oh my god, look at Pickett. Pickett is so cute. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got one. Okay, so I'm downstairs and they have like all these really cool prop items. But they have all the signed Noble Collection items. So here you have Daniel Radcliffe's signature. Look at that. It's just, it's the Harry Potter replica wand. But it's signed by Daniel Radcliffe himself. You have Draco Malfoy's as well, signed by Tom Riddle. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry I said Tom Riddle. Oh, Tom Felton. Oh my goodness. Look at the Lucius Malfoy mask, signed by Jason. And of course, Bellatrix of Strange's wand and display, signed by Helena. They have quite literally everyone's signature here. New Commander himself, signed this, to the Noble Collection. Jude Law. I'm guessing these are the ones that they got signed um, in the premiere. Mark Williams, Arthur, aka Arthur Weasley. Oh my goodness, it's Dolores Umbridge himself. And this is the sole purpose of why I came downstairs. This is all the discontinued items that the Noble Collection has done throughout the years. Here's Mr. Bubble Boy himself and his lovely girlfriend, the pasties girl. Here you have the vertebrae seen in the Prisoner of Azkaban by Professor Lupin. You have Dumbledore's knife that he used in the Horcrux cave. If you guys haven't seen the Horcrux cave video, highly check it out. I'll go ahead and put a link of it right here. And look at these all oh, there. Now this is a good way to display your wands here. Nice. And the famous Harry Potter glasses. They haven't done these in so long. Well, it was discontinued, obviously. But now they range for easily $5,000. All the Fantastic Beasts things, like the Newt Scamander journal. Also, just a little key note is that this one, this, this Hedwig is actually the one from the first two movies. And then it just got discontinued for some reason. And just like I said, nah, they don't only do Harry Potter things. So Suicide Squad is here. You have the Joker's cane. And more importantly, look at this. DC, Superman, Batman, everything, right? Check this out. This sculpture right here, the one that he's gliding in. It's 460 pounds and this one this huge head is 400 so let me know I wouldn't I would much rather get this right here for 400 and they also have a Bane one so I went back upstairs and check this out you can see Pickett's little hand coming out and you can see him look look there's another one it's another boat truckle right up here sticking out his tongue that's hilarious Oh, I love this door. Here are the wand displays as well. Here's a Tri-Wizard wand set. This, this is the one I want right here. The Dark Mark wand set. Just because of the back, it looks, it looks cool. I don't really care for wands, but yeah, I really like this one. And I also love this one. You can see like the names are 3D. You can see them sticking out. These are kind of different Lucius Malfoy's wand Bellatrix Lestrange wonder why these wands don't look like you'd expect ask the member of staff to find out more I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do just that because these are very very different so I found out that those are actually the second wands that they took because Hermione actually took Bellatrix's first wand and Voldemort snapped Lucius Malfoy's first wand as well. So they both had to change wands and these are the second wand. Not as cool as their very first wand, but that's the reason why.